Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys my dining room plants. Sorry I didn't get around to it sooner, but I've been a little bit busy this week. But I definitely want to show you guys my dining room plants. But first, I want to thank everybody that has subscribed to my channel. And I do want to thank everybody that um, watches my videos. Um, and I want to thank everybody for the kind words, the comments that you leave for me and all the help that you give me. Um, the plant community is amazing and I just want to thank everybody. So today um, is just going to be my dining room plants. And um, so let's um, turn the camera around here and I will show you what I have. Oh, and if you did miss my plant room tour and my living room tour, I'll either leave it in a card up above or I will link it down below. Um, so let's go see my dining room plants. Okay, you guys, so um, coming in from my living room into my dining room, um, over here on this wall I have, um, so I have these crates um, that I like using for plants and I have my money tree on this one. And then down in there I have my purple waffle plant. And then over here I just bought these two plants, um, the Bella Palm. Um, so I just have it there for right now. And also an arrowhead plant, I have that one there. I need to repot those ones and find homes for them. But for right now they're just in this little um, thing that I picked up at Kirkland's on clearance. And then I have my um, orchid in here. So it doesn't have a spike. But it does have, um, it is growing new leaves for me. So it has one there and then it's growing a little tiny baby one in there. And then over here I have my Monstera. And I also have another um, arrowhead plant that I re recently purchased. So I need to repot it. Um, but I think that's the pot I'm going to put it in. And then I have my Jade. And then this is also another south facing window. Um, so I have a cactus that I repotted there. I need to repot this um, Ripsalis. I need to repot my fire sticks. And then I have a couple succulents. And I have um, a cactus that I got from Ikea. And another one there. So these all need to be repotted. And then this one here, I got, um, I think at Lowe's, it's just the pink aloe. And another succulent there. And then I have my, um, I think it's a peperomia. And then back there I have my bear paw. And now I'm gonna show you guys my plant hospital or plants that I need to do something with. So this one, I just can't give up on it. It keeps growing little um, leaves and then they fall off and then they grow and they fall off. So I'm gonna give it one more chance to grow so it's over here in the little hospital area. Um, and then back here, um, I don't know if you guys can see that too well, but um, are my living rocks, my lithops. Um, so I just leave those back there. I don't know where else to put them. And then this is my Sansevieria that I need to repot, so it's staying there for now. This is my alumin aluminum pilea. Um, when I first got it, it was very full and all the leaves fell off and now they're growing back. They're a little bit um, wilted looking, but they are growing back, so I'm leaving that here for now. And then my goldfish plant, um, it was doing so great. And then I watered my orchid with um, some plant, some orchid food. And I forgot that I had it in the um, watering can. So I poured the water into my goldfish plant and it, I guess it burned the roots. I'm not sure what happened, but a lot of the leaves fell off and it's not as full as it used to be. It is still growing and it put off a new um, bloom there, a goldfish, it is dying off now, but at least it did bloom. And then you guys, I don't know if you watched my video um, where my 
Monstera adansonii had mealy bugs, but this is it. This is what's left of it. Um, so I think I freaked out and I overwatered it because I was trying to get all the bugs off of it and it started getting yellow leaves. So I took it out of the soil and now I'm water propagating it. Um, it's doing okay. I separated it into two um, propagation bottles here. So I'm waiting for um, those to grow some roots and then I'm going to um, repot it. And then back there I also have a Sansevieria that I need to repot. And my zebra plant that was having a lot of brown on the leaves so I cut all the leaves off and it's over here to um, grow some new leaves which it is doing so I'm happy about that. And then over here I have my um, my golden pothos, I've had this one for probably two and a half years and it grows very well for me. I have cut tons of um, the vines off and um, stuck them in other pothos that I have or just back in this plant. And then back there I just got that new plant. Um, I think it's a satin, silver satin pothos or if there's another name for it, if you guys can um, let me know what it is. And then one, my goldfish plant I have hanging here. And my um, candy corn plant I have hanging back there. And then I have my um, yucca plant here. And I saw, started seeing some little worms that were dead on the floor, so I started inspecting all my plants. And I figured out that this was the one that has the worms, so I put that um, seven or six, whatever that powder in there, and I haven't seen any more worms, so I'm happy for that. And then this plant is my Chinese evergreen. It does pretty well here. It does have one yellow leaf that um, I need to pull off, but um, for the most part, it does pretty well here on this crate. And I have my empty bottle down there. I'm still not sure what plant I'm going to put in there. Okay, and then over here, um, on top of my refrigerator, I have um, a bird of paradise that isn't doing so great. I I've moved it all around the house trying to figure out um, what it likes and I still don't know. So at least it's not dying so I leave it there. And then the other plant in the middle um, was my daughter's plant and she said that she couldn't take care of it. So she brought it down here and I just stuck it on top of the refrigerator and it seems to be doing pretty well. And then the other one I propagated for is a little pilea I propagated for my daughter and she brought it down to me because it wasn't looking so great. I don't know if it's going to live or not, but um, I stuck it up there for now. So yeah, that is all the plants that I have here in my dining area. Um, just a quick overview here. Oh, I forgot to show you guys my new stromanthi. I just got this one today. Um, it doesn't look so great, but... I picked it up anyway. I don't know, it just has like a lot of damage on the leaves, but I thought it was such a pretty plant, so I got it anyway. But yeah, so there is my living room over there, and then my plant room over there. So it's, um, that's my little space that I have all my plants in. And I just wanna thank you guys for watching, and until next time, bye.